Paul, thank you. Two-year-old Brody Allen continues to battle terminal cancer with a smile. Yeah, he was dressed as Spider-Man today. Brody went trick-or-treating with the help of an army of supporters. Local 12's Brad Underwood was there as Brody got to enjoy yet another holiday. Certainly doesn't feel like October temperatures pushing 90 degrees, but that's not stopping these hundreds of kids and their families from coming out and celebrating yet another holiday with Brody and his family. You want that? As Brody Allen grabs one of his favorites, a sucker, Thank you. he leads the trunk or treat line from one tailgate to the next as his candy bucket begins to overflow. I have chips, Twizzlers, foreheads. Jade Hughes is all dressed up as Violet from The Incredibles. She says it was nice to meet Brody. Well, he smiled yeah, when we good. took a picture. Okay. Got to see Star Wars characters. Star Wars, Mickey and Minnie, Donald and Daisy Duck, they're all here. And so are some scary costumes like Michael Myers. Let me get you a badge so you can be all like me. But everyone is here to have fun and make sure Brody does too. All of it warms my heart to see that there is good. When he came by, it kind of broke my heart. But because I've got two little guys and I can't imagine. It's just the latest event for the two-year-old battling terminal cancer. Doctors gave him two months to live back in August. Brody has passed that mark. Just last week, his dad Todd Allen posted a thank you message with an update that Brody is even gaining back some motion in his left arm and his left leg. He's also learning to speak again and sit up on his own and even drive his power wheel car all by himself. Just a life. I mean, he just wonderful, wonderful. Makes us all light up. It makes me feel pretty good because I heard about it on Facebook and I kind of felt bad for him, but we got him a present to make him feel happy and like have his heart full of joy. A portion of the shaved ice sales and all the donations will go to the Allen family. In Ross Township, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. If you'd like to learn more about Brody Allen's story, go to local12.com.